Americans. Fishermen and women around the state only have a few more days until they have to cut back on taking home a certain fish, and it's one that's pretty popular in the area. Our Madeline Salinas joins us live in the studio to tell us more about these new statewide regulations. Madeline. Thanks, Brian. Last fall, Texas Parks and Wildlife made their way around the coast to hear from fishermen and women about the state of the spotted sea trout population. Hoping to conserve the declining species, Parks and Wildlife ultimately decided to cut back on the amount of trout, ang the amount of trout anglers can take home. So those new regulations go into effect this Tuesday, March 26th. David Rousey is a longtime fisherman. He moved to the coastal bend in 1995, and after becoming a full-time fishing guide in 2011, he noticed that the abundance of sea trout isn't what it used to be. You know, our, our numbers have been going down for a long time, for pr probably 10 years. This area that we're in, the Laguna Madre in Baffin, is really thought of and uh, proven to be one of the best trophy trout fisheries in the world. But the more you take out, the less of them there are. With an already declining trout fishery, freezing temperatures that the coastal bend experienced back in 2021 only made matters worse. And, you know, it's estimated that we lost 80% of our trout during that freeze. At that time, we could keep five fish within a 15 to 25 inch slot limit. And one of those fish per day could be over 25 inches. Starting on March 26th, new Texas Parks and Wildlife spotted sea trout regulations will mean anglers can only keep three fish that are between 15 and 20 inches. If anglers catch a trout over 30 inches, only one will be allowed as part of their daily bag limit. The Texas coastal population is expected to double in the next 25 years, which a lot of people don't realize. And our, our old limits are just not sustainable anymore. And the uh, trying to find the balance to keep everybody happy is really tough. You know, I'm not getting what I want. People that want to eat all the fish aren't getting what they want. But there's got to be some compromise in there. Now for more information on the new Texas Parks and Wildlife regulations, you can click on a link to this story on our website. Brian. 